This week, the guys learned the inside story on remanufactured engines, strengthened steering, product branding, and multifaceted roof racks. Next on Motorhead Garage, presented by Topco. Hey there, welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat. Now this is a Ford F-150 with an EcoBoost engine and it's one of the most popular pickup trucks in all the land. As you know, Americans love their pickup trucks. They love to use them and sometimes they abuse them, which sometimes leads to failure. And that's where our friends at Jasper Engines and Transmissions come in. Brad, what do you guys do at Jasper? Jasper Engines is a powertrain drivetrain remanufacturer. We're located in southern Indiana, have 48 branches throughout the country. Started business in 1942. Well, you guys have lots of experience and you brought lots of stuff to show us. Let's talk about the remanufacturing process, starting with the heads. All right, so with the heads in particular, we bring in a lot of cores in the R&D process and look to see what the main failures are. What we're seeing on this EcoBoost in particular is the cam bores are worn out. So what we do is 100% lime bore them with a state-of-the-art coolant-fed CNC machine. Once you do that, you do need to make the cam match those cam bores. So we spray weld the cam journals, grind them down to match those OEM clearances. And one thing you've done that's pretty revolutionary at Jasper is working with the pistons. Tell me what you do there. Yeah, so the pistons, we see quite a bit of failure on those coming in. So one update we do, uh, the pistons are designed in-house. It's going to be a 100% forged piston for our stock applications. Uh, it's fully machined, so as it reduces the chance for that carbon to build up on it, it's an anodized top, which will create a barrier between that combustion and the piston itself. The skirts are widened a little bit, which could have a little bit more bearing area against the cylinder walls. Along with the piston, we upgrade the ring pack for this. So the top ring is a steel ring, has a DLC coating, which will make it a more robust ring. It'll help sealing and help the longevity of that. Along with that, the oil ring is improved to a two-piece design. It'll help scrape that oil back into the cylinders and not carbon up on those valves and cause them to stick. Now with that oil drain back and the pistons themselves, we increase the oil drain backs on them. So once that oil is scraped from the oil rings, it'll have a place to return into that crankcase. Pistons take a ton of abuse and so do exhaust valves. What have you done with the exhaust valves? Yes, yeah, so this cylinder puts out a lot of in-cylinder temperature. The exhaust valve we upgrade to an Inconel material, which is able to take that heat and dissipate it out into the engine. Inconel, super high tech. You're using it in supercars all over the world, right? Exactly. It's one of the best materials you can use on exhaust valves. And speaking of improved materials, let's talk head gaskets. Yeah, so it's a multi-layer seal head gasket. Uh, it is Jasper designed. It's a little bit thicker. Once you mill the block and the head, you reduce that compression ratio in the cylinder. You want to increase that to retain the compression ratio so you don't have pre-ignition or detonation in your engine. And everything Jasper does is geared toward reliability. How do you ensure that? Well, the final process in the R&D phase is to do a 50-hour endurance test. We'll put this on our durability test stand, run for that 50 hours at max horsepower, max torque, tear apart, audit it, and find out what any failures are, if any. And of course, if you're talking the EcoBoost, you're also talking turbochargers. What do you do for the turbos? Yes, yeah, so we have a full line of turbos. Uh, if your engine goes out, more than likely you have material that will be going through the bearings in the turbo also because they're all fed off the same oil system. Jasper does carry a full line of gas engine and diesel turbos. You guys have thought of everything. And now, of course, moving on to transmissions. Now, I've seen service bulletins where the speed sensors fail occasionally on the F-150. So what do you do to prevent that? Yes, on the 6R60, 6R80 model, speed sensors are actually located in what's called a lead frame assembly. Uh, we've seen these fail, uh, and we replace them 100%. And the valve body? Valve bodies are always 100% remanufactured, taken apart, clean, machine, reassembled. Uh, we do testing and answer mag testing on the transmission before we install it. I'll test all the clutches, all the seals, and all the pistons in it. And what kind of testing do you do with the engine as well? So both engines and transmissions are live run tested before we ship them out to our customers. And talk about this unit then, if you're talking about shipping out to your customers. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these late model transmissions need programmed, whether it's a Tecum that's inside the transmission or just the solenoids themselves. This is a remote programming device that we do have available for rental for them, so they don't have to call somebody in to do their programming or send it out to an external source. Well, you can learn more about Jasper Transmissions specifically where you can find an installer near you. Check them out at jasperengines.com. We'll be right back after this with more Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat.
Motorhead Garage, presented by Top Coat, is brought to you by Tom's Bronco Parts, the largest inventory around of 66 to 77 Ford Bronco parts and accessories. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Scoggin Dickey Parts Center, your source for custom-built street-to-strip power. Kicker Performance Audio, living loud. And by Top Coat. Advanced coating solutions through innovation and technology. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. If you are like me, you're always running out of space, whether it's your car, your truck, or your SUV, there's never enough room, John. Not anymore. 3D UACE has a product right here called a multi-purpose basket. It's a roof rack, man, and it goes into multi-configurations, tubular steel construction right here. You can uh, any anchor point on any of these points, man, definitely multi-purpose. Exactly. You can see we've got that end flat, and you can do the same thing down here. So if you've got two by fours, you can extend out past the length of the rack. You can also take off these side rails. So you've got a mattress, four by eight sheet of plywood, something like that. You can extend it over all of the edges. And John, you're gonna like this one. On this end, I've got this bar up. You can place this toward the rear of the vehicle. And when you hit the gas, like you always do, it's gonna keep your luggage from flying off the back of the car. Works for me. Or you can put it in a basket configuration real easily. You just unscrew this here, pop it over, secure it so you don't have any rattles, pick up on the bar, bam. Those ones were flat for the flat configuration. I got them up, spin them around, lock it in, Lock it in just that easy, secure it down, and Dave, we're ready for installation. It's just that easy. And it, installing it is just as easy as uh, configuring it all the different ways. Now, it's not that heavy. It's not compared to how stout it is and built. No, but you're going to need a buddy because, as you can see, it's awkward to get stuff up on the roof. Yep. Some of us need a ladder. Some of us don't, John. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Once you got it up there. Hop up on the door frame. I actually have the clamping system over here, Dave, just as simple as installing it out of the box. They give you these nice clamps, go across the top right here, give you a shot of that, put them on, and then you got this bottom one right here. This one's gonna actually go under the bracket. So I'm gonna go under the bracket right there, configure it here or anywhere we wanna configure. It gives us a lot of flexibility. Tons of flexibility with this whole thing, all the configurations. In fact, we have a 16 inch extension in the middle of this. If you get it stock without the extension, it still holds plenty of stuff, but uh, you add that to it and it gives it a, a whole different world of capacity here. And uh, there's also one of my favorite uh, accessories. There's a net that can go over the top. That way you don't have to mess with tie down straps and that sort of thing. Yeah. Now you can get a little Allen key. I'm gonna cheat and use this drill just for time's sake, but it's a matter of securing it up. Make sure it's on both of the brackets right there when you do it. Hold it to it. I'm gonna go ahead and run mine down, Dave. Once I do that, just that easy. Now what you would do is go around all four corners, do the same thing, make sure it's good and secure. Once it's good and secure, you're good to go. Cool, it's super simple, super easy. What's that for? There's a buck for you, go get my luggage. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Meanwhile, you guys check them out on the web, get one for yourself. Time now for Top Coat's tips and techniques. You know, F11 is an amazing product when it comes to boats, uh, you know, in this marine market. It's a really harsh environment. You're talking salt water, UV damage. It's literally a nightmare, but you got to have the right product to be able to handle all of this and clean it and protect it. And F11 does that just perfect, right, Mike? That's right. And boats are exposed to so many harsh elements. It's incredible. And you have so many different surfaces, but F11 will work on all these, making maintenance much easier. Yeah, literally a breeze. So as an example, we've got all these different colors in this gel coat, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So look at this right here. It's as simple as a quick spray on application. Now I'm going to coat everything with this. You don't need a lot of the product and I'm going to take my microfiber towel and all I'm going to start doing is just buffing that product into the surface. We want it to bond with the surface and get those incredible results. I mean look at this. Look at that, Mike. I don't know if the camera can see that, but you can already see how it's bringing back that original color and also the protection and it's filling it in. And more importantly, no UV issue after. That's right. It protects it from sun damage and that black looks like glass, but not only your boat, you can go down here to the trailer and not only protect the trailer and clean it, but you can do the wheels, the tires, everything. I mean, this is incredible. Look. Yeah, look at the difference there. 
And again, it's not only that you're cleaning it, it's not only that you're enhancing it, but you're maintaining it. So what does that mean? That means whether it's right now you get the quote wow factor, right? That beautiful shine. Well, it's also about down the road, less maintenance. Every time this boat goes in and out of the water, you're literally just wiping it down. Everything's gonna come right off. You're gonna be on the water a lot more, right, Mike? That's right. And it's so fast how you can do this. You know, it's not like a time consuming process. You literally, within minutes, can do almost the entire trailer and boat, probably under 20, 30 minutes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very, very fast, very safe and effective. So if you want to learn more about what Topco can do for your boats and trucks, planes, RVs, you name it, you can always go to topcoat.tv. Well, you're driving along and bam, that infamous check engine light pops on. Well, it's usually not catastrophic damage, so it's not too much of a problem. You go get you one of these handheld scanners, man. Pretty easy to do. Just reach up under the dash on the driver's side. Somewhere there's going to be a 16-pin connector. Just plug it in, man. Turn on the ignition. You got power. Hit the little read and check out the code. Now, that doesn't mean much to you, but when you pull that code, perhaps it's a PO300 code, a misfire, a random misfire. Well, each one of those digits actually actually mean something. And if you pull up this graphic right here, you can see the first one on there, if it's a B, it's going to be a body code. C is for chassis, P is for powertrain, and U is a network code. Now the next one on there, it's either going to be a P0 or a P1. If it's a powertrain zero, that's a generic. The one is a vehicle manufacturer specific code. Now the other ones there you can see is actually a system. Fuel is a one, fuel and air, all the way down the chart to seven, eight, nine are transmission codes. Then it's the actual code itself. You want to go ahead and pull the diagnostics. You want to make sure you're doing it right. You got your code. Don't go just replace the component now. There's a circuit that goes along with that and a huge diagnostic as well. But hopefully this will help you out. Pull your code. You understand what's going on with the system and you'll be able to at least know about your vehicle. Motorhead Garage, presented by Topcoat, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Topcoat. Now, there's a saying that the small details make a big difference. And in Junior's case, with Turn 1, you guys do power steering pumps, gearboxes. You do all kinds of things. Now, that's absolutely true. You guys have a great product, but the details that AP Laser put in it really put you guys over the top. Tell us about the product and your branding, man. This is really cool. Yeah. Uh, so here we've got our billet aluminum power steering pulleys um, that we have, them, we have them hard anodized black. Uh, and then we use the AP laser to brand them. We've got our logo on here. Um, we machine all those in-house and we do the laser etching in-house as well um, to provide our customers with the best possible quality. Yeah, that's like a badge of honor too. I mean, yeah. I know your product is a good product, so on my car, when I see that, it's like, man, that's right, I got me a turn one pulley, so <laughs> yep. AP Laser did great there. Yep. What about the pump? The pumps, uh, we custom build all of our pumps uh, to the customer's needs. Uh, they're designed to reduce horsepower consumption, reduce fluid temperature. Uh, they're 100% brand new um, and same, same thing here, same yeah. Same quality, yep. Branded here, but really cool. If you look at this, I love this. You guys, you did this on the AP Laser? Yep, yep, we did that on the AP Laser. Uh, one of my guys came up with the idea, uh, and it turned out really great. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. And the really cool part, this is like anodized aluminum, steel, or now we're into plastic. Yep. Doesn't yep. matter. Nope, nope. The medium doesn't matter. Uh, that's a really nice thing about the AP Laser, really versatile. Branding aspect, this thing's sitting on the top of the car. I'm looking down, I see your logo, I see your phone number. Bam, I'm calling you. Yep. Uh, this here is just another power steering pump that we do. This is a Saginaw Type 2 style power steering pump, 100% uh, built here in the USA, uh, hand built in our shop uh, for your needs. Uh, this specific one here is for a C5, C6 Corvette. Uh, we started branding these when we got the AP Laser. Uh, didn't have any other identification on them before that, wow. so um, that was a really important uh, feature for us to add. And you brand your pumps as well. I mean, this yep. is pretty cool. Yep. Easy to set up, easy to use. Matter of fact, Dave's got one of your pumps over there, putting your logo on it, man, creating that brand. Let's join him. All right. That's a really great looking power steering pump. And with the logo on it, Junior, it looks even better. I can see why someone would be proud to have that in their car. What is it about your products that set you guys apart from some others that are out there? Well, our, our products are all made here in the USA. We build them in-house uh, to our customer specific needs. 
Uh, they're 100% brand new, no remanufactured or used parts go into our products. Um, I've got tons of stuff on the shelf ready to ship it, so uh, whenever anybody's ready, we can accommodate them. And every time you crank one out, you throw the AP, your uh, logo on it with the AP laser? Yep. Yep. Very yep. cool. Everything, everything that goes out the door, pretty much, we use the AP laser. And your products, in particular, are a testament to the versatility of the AP laser, different <laughs> shapes and sizes. Yep. Yep. Uh, some of our stuff is round, others are small. Um, some are metal, some are plastic, uh, anodized aluminum to bare aluminum, steel. We do all kinds of different things with our AP laser. And the way the AP laser is designed, that enables you to use it for huge things. V yeah, very, very much so. The bottom or the open bottom ar architecture of the AP laser allows it to be very versatile. I mean, you can etch the floor if you want to with your AP laser, or you can etch something really small with it. I've got fittings that I've etched before that are, you know, an inch long. So, very versatile. That's amazing, and if you need help, advice on how to set up the machine for something new or something different, if you need ideas, where do you go? Oh yeah, the uh, AP Lasers tech support um, and the user network that they've created is just uh, incredible. Uh, Everybody is based here in the U.S. as far as tech support goes. Uh, really easy to get a hold of. They're 24/7. I had an issue with my laser. He came up, spent two days with us in the shop trying to get it fixed. Got it fixed. Everything's working great ever since. So. And just like that, we are done. AP Laser did all the work. There's just a little bit left to do. What's the next step? Uh, all you got to do now is just clean it off and it's ready to roll. That looks great. And AP Laser's making your stuff look even better. Yeah. Very cool. AP Laser, you can do all kinds of things with it. If you need some ideas, check them out at aplaser.com slash TV. And if you go there and you buy an AP Laser, you'll get a special discount because you are a viewer of Motorhead Garage. We've got more of Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat coming up right after this. Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat is brought to you by Flaming River. If it doesn't say Flaming River, it just isn't good enough. Raybuck Auto Body Parts, providing quality restoration parts since 1985. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Car Capsule, protecting vehicles for over 20 years. And by Corvette Correction, doing business one-on-one. -on -one. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Topco. Well, we got a Jeep in the shop. That's always a good day, and an off-road one at that. You got the winch, and everything's ready to go. Well, except for the undercarriage. If you're going to do any extreme off-roading, this here is not going to get it. That's why we got Sean with us from Trail Forged. Sean, tell me about your company. Well, Trail Forged was kind of born from a lifelong passion of jeeping. Um, I remember little kid, I grew up in the in the shotgun seat of my dad's 62 Willys pickup, um, and it just kind of grew from there, um, modifying cars, modifying Jeeps. And uh, ultimately, it was just a passion for, you know, wanting to create the absolute best products that I could um, to give somebody the confidence to want to go hit those trails uh, as well as to get home safely. Well, you got one here. Let's talk about this. We'll go ahead and put it up, but you got a tie rod right here. Mm -hmm. We just went ahead and we got the other bolts loose. We're ready to drop the other tie rod down. I'd like to do that and put them side to side. So tell us, let's go ahead and do that. Take that bolt off. We'll get that down in that. And then look at the difference between this. Sean, this is a man-sized tie rod, man. Tell me what we got going on here. Well, so the stock tie rod, um, almost every single Jeep I've ever come across at seen trail time, these things just bend up. Um, they're really vulnerable. They hang really low. Um, they really like making friends with rocks. Pretty much the, the best thing, the first thing uh, I think that most uh, trail rigs should do is upgrade their steering to a component um, such as our ultra heavy duty tie rod here. That's going to be able to withstand those kind of hits. Um, without you know messing up your alignment without potentially breaking and leaving you stranded on the trail um, we designed this out of a material that's about 400 percent stronger than the stock tie rod uh, it's two inch diameter uh, quarter wall 1026 carbon steel tubing that we manufacture in our own facility in california powder coated in california uh, in fact even the tie rod ends themselves all made in the U.S. Well, I'm glad you're here because I'll tell you what, I think I could have dropped that other one by myself, <laughs> but this guy is heavy. Now, some really unique features about this. Let's talk a little bit about the alignment adjustment because toe is important, especially if you're in the field doing it. This one's easy to do. Yes, so um, we've designed this with a left and a right uh, thread on it, so you can align it just like a stock one, unlike some aftermarket steering kits where you have to drop one end, move it, and you end up futzing around with it for quite a while. This one 
one, you quite simply just turn this link there and I'm go. adjusting toe uh, literally as we talk. Yep. So it's super, super simple. When you're done, um, there's Belleville lock washers in here to keep these jam nuts from coming loose. You just tighten down both sides once your alignment's set and you're done. Perfect, and our viewers, we actually pulled a tape on the old one, so we got this one pre-set up, but it's just that easy no matter what. If you're seeing tire wear, bam, we're adjusting it in two seconds, which exactly. is phenomenal. Now, what about our stabilizer? What are we gonna do with that guy? So the kit comes with uh, a stabilizer bracket that we build in-house. Um, it's super simple, comes with some U-bolts, and then you quite simply just set this guy on there, um, provided with the hardware, and then you can bolt up your stabilizer just like this. Great, I'll give you a hand. So that's where this, so this is actually a lot beefier than the one. Number one, you're gonna have a problem with the other one bending. Right, um, so this one's specifically designed for this massive tie rod. Um, it also has a two-piece design with a gusset down the back so it doesn't bend and deform. Um, can handle stock stabilizers as well as uh, some of the stouter, or actually most of the stouter aftermarket ones as well. Um, so you just put those U-bolts in there like that put the bolt in through here mm -hmm. and then just that easy so we got the stabilizer right back up on there and then just tighten that down just like that um, yeah. there will be a little bit of an adjustment made to this to make right. sure your steering sweep left to right is fine but then you tighten everything down and you are done now three criteria we like to meet with parts here at Motorhead Garage for mm -hmm. sure. Number one, we talked about this a little bit in earlier. We want this design and torture tested by somebody that's actually a Jeep guy and a Jeep junkie, man. This is you. Absolutely. No, I grew up with Jeeps. Um, I have a driveway full of Jeeps. Um, every single weekend you'll find me out on some trail. Uh, I live four hours from the famous Rubicon Trail. I've been up there five, six times this season alone. Yep. Um, it's probably my all-time you know, favorite go-to. Um, I eat, sleep, live, breathe Jeeps. Perfect. Yeah, torture tested. We can check that that box as well and most importantly USA made and made by a veteran owned company you're a veteran so thank you so much for your service thank you. awesome well you can check them out on the web make sure you beef up your Jeep not only that they have control arms as well all kinds of products just as beefy as this it's gonna keep your Jeep running great well we're out of time for today we had a great show we had a good time I hope you did too but if you want to get a product on Motorhead Garage just email Jeff at masters we'll see you next week with more Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat